Okay, part two. <laughs> Candace Owens also talks about how most, the majority of abortions happen because the women who have them are pressured into having abortions, either by their boyfriends, their families, their husbands, their culture, their religion, whatever it may be. Now listen, I'm sure that is the case for many women, but the majority, most, are there actual factual data behind that to say that that is the, the major cause of abortion? Because if it is, then we really need to look in resources for domestic violence, right? To help these women in these situations, to know that they have resources out there, to know that there are people there supporting them, to know that their government is behind giving them the resources that they need to make it on their own so they're not in abusive relationships. Candace said most of the people, because she knows six, six people who have had abortions and that seemed to have been their situation. I know many people who have had abortions. I am not one of them, but I know many people who have had many, I'm gonna say probably four or five. And for me, that's many, but that doesn't mean the majority. And for me, those four or five women that I know of, they weren't in a situation where they were pressured. They were in a situation where they, one truly wasn't ready, didn't wanna be a mom and didn't wanna be pregnant and didn't wanna go through pregnancy and didn't wanna go through the emotional uh, process of giving their baby up for adoption because adoption isn't the answer to having an abortion. It isn't. An abortion is, I don't want to be pregnant anymore for whatever that reason is, for whatever that reason is. Adoption is, I'll be pregnant but I can't be a parent. I don't want to, I financially can't, emotionally I can't, I'm not in a situation where I can, I wanna give my child a better life than what I can do. It's two very different things. But to say that most abortions, the majority of them are caused by domestic violence, I don't know if that's true. I, I just don't know because you know six people. Again, the people that I know that have had abortions, one had them because she was taking some pretty strong medication for her mental health, and she was just too concerned about what that medication may have done to her fetus. Whether you agree with it or not, that was her choice. Another one, it was because of sexual abuse. Whether you agree with it or not, it's her choice. So again, I just, I, I encourage you to just be careful with saying, with whitewashing, with, you know, just generalizing the idea of abortion, that only those that are in domestic violence situations, only those that have been brainwashed into thinking this is their only way out are the ones having an abortion. And on that note, I don't know many women that are saying, oh my God, I can't wait to get an abortion, right? I, and again, I could be wrong. Maybe there are women who have the, oh my God, I'm so looking forward to this, but I'm sure that many women, and again, I don't wanna say this as a fact because I don't have the numbers to support it, but I'm sure that many women agonize over that decision, go back and forth and you know, possibly go through emotional torment afterwards or not. Maybe for some women, it is such a relief. It is a solution to something that they are just not ready for. But again, they're right. And Candace was talking about this whole, my body, my choice. Where did that even come from? As if it's some like slogan that somebody just threw on a bumper sticker that doesn't hold any weight. How does the words, my body, my choice, how does that not make sense to you? Who cares where it came from? It's a powerful statement. It's my body. It's my choice. What I decide to do with it. Okay, I'm gonna end it there. Comment, agree, don't agree, it's all good, it's all good. Thank you for listening.